Mom, you can't no, do you that. No, you can't stay here, Sammy. You have to get in the car. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's got me. God damn. Oh, my God. She, she, she shoot him? She, she had to. She shot him. She, she had to. She shot him. She shot him. It's okay. It's okay. The other person is okay. If you don't think white privilege exists even in the smallest inkling, watch how the cops treat this son of a Karen throughout this entire ordeal, especially in the clip at the end of this video. Hello, this is Kev. This is Black Man Being Brutally Honest. And um, I just showed y'all two videos because I wanted to be fair. I wanted, I wanted y'all to see a cop actually having to shoot a white man versus how cops deal when they shoot black men. So everybody wants to be fair. Everybody wants to be saying, well, you know, white people get shot too. You know, so we're going to have the little, we're going to have the rubber match here. We're going to talk about this particular incident right here. But first, if you haven't, please go below the screen, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit all and hit that like button or dislike button because you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if y'all hit dislike because I dislike this whole entire thing too. Okay, now here's the star of the show. Kyle Rittenhouse, white privilege warrior. All lives matter. I'm tired of these protesters looting and rioting in our city. We need to defend ourselves from them. This guy. Kyle Rittenhouse decided to take it upon himself to fire upon protesters. Uh, these protests are going on in Kenosha, Wisconsin. As you well know, um, a few days ago, um, Jacob Blake uh, pulled over to stop a fight between two young women and um, cops were called to the scene. And the first thing the cops did was subdue Jacob Blake. Didn't seem like he was being very resistant, but he walked around to try to re-enter his gray SUV and the cop pulled on his shirt and shot him seven times in front of his three sons. Which is sparked protests throughout the city. Uh, Jacob Blake is in stable condition, but unfortunately he will never walk again. So there are protests and there's slight property damage when the protest first started, but I didn't hear of any looting and rioting in this particular incident. Oh, we know that there was an alt-right, which is just another way of saying racist militia on the scene. And this young gung-ho young man, uh, who's probably waiting on the race war to spark out, decided to take him upon himself to commit an act that would he thought probably in his little feeble, young, immature, psychotic, racist little mind that he was just going to go ahead and kick things off. Now, the results is two people dead and others injured. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, why, why are you bringing up race, Kevin? Why, why are you trying to race bait? The people he shot was white. Well, um, let me give you a little history lesson. There were white people working in the civil rights movement. Um, know about the Mississippi burning incident? Um, one in particular that sticks out is uh, Viola Gregg Lizzo. Uh, she was a woman that was transporting a uh, civil rights activist from the north to the south. Yeah, she was shot in the head while on the road. You know, by uh, no, no doubt, Ku Klux Klansman. Uh, so, it's like, 
don't say don't 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 try to def- say that racism isn't the discussion here because he killed white people. White that 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 does not defeat the whole air of racism being a part of this because I feel like Jacob Blake getting shot was racial profiling. Now this was racial profiling in this situation too because see because of his skin color he was able to walk through those cops unharmed and they offered him water and they thanked the militia for their service the cops they were advising not to point laser targets at the crowd not to engage the militia so they wouldn't have to shoot any of them because you know what they probably had family members in that militia too i'm saying probably i don't know i don't have any evidence so don't try to debate me on it but it's really weird and it's really strange how these cops are always shooting uh for some reason black people and and never shooting active shooter white people now let's keep it real if this active shooter was black and yes, damn, I'm, I'm putting the emphasis on active shooter. He would have looked like the piece of Swiss cheese with his blood drenching the ground. And keep it real, everyone knows with any kind of thought in their head that that is true. There is no excuses for this. He would, the little Rittenhouse was a danger coming in. And, and people thought they were trying to protect themselves by running up on an active shooter, which was pretty stupid, by the way. You don't run up on an active shooter. You live. Now, I admire those people's courage, but two people are dead now. My condolences to the family. Much respect, but they paid the price. I'm sorry. Others were injured. But who knows, if those people who he shot and killed hadn't run up on him, he might have killed someone else. You never know. You never know. At the end of the day, you can't really victim blame here. Just say what it is. Now, at the end of this video, you're going to see a clip with Kyle Rittenhouse an active shooter, a young white male walking through police unharmed and was able to get a bottle of water, a cold bottle of water. I can see it clearly on the video that it was cold. But it is important that you know that Kyle Rittenhouse has been charged with murder. And he will be tried, if I'm not mistaken, he will be tried as an adult. So, I guess that's fair to say that there's no white privilege. Hell no. Still. I wonder, did they take the fucker to Burger King, too? Yeah, and I wonder if there's, like, some GoFundMe somewhere for his defense fund. Even though it's clear to see on video that he murdered those people. He's alive. People are wondering why he's alive, and people might say that's kind of a dark point of view, but at the same time, we see how the behavior is consistent with uh, black people who are unarmed in many incidents that have been spread throughout the media. So why did this man, after you hear gunshots fired, after you have a crowd of people on the side saying, t- yelling at the cops, he just shot those people. He just shot those people. Why didn't one cop attempt to subdue this guy? Did they know him? But he's been, you know, he's been charged with murder. Yeah, and it was a whole militia out there, so more than one of them were armed. 
That's what I was saying. It was like no laser pointers. So, I mean, you're going to see it at the end of the video. So, I mean, you, you if, if you want to sit there and argue that white privilege doesn't exist and this young man was just defending himself after on all like all the news reports that he fired into the crowd first before they tried to chase him down and take the gun away from him. There, there are going to be all kinds of excuses. And you know what? If you're going to make excuses for this, you're a low down ass piece of you know what. And a racist, possibly. If 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 you're a black person and think that this is justified, you're weak, and I just don't even want to associate myself with you for real. It's ridiculous. I mean, they arrested him. He's going to be charged for murder, but it's like, God damn. <laughs> Seriously. So, okay. So he's been arrested, and he's been charged for murder. And so nobody should say anything, right? Wrong. People are going to talk about this forever. And there are so many other instances where have there, there have been active shooters that have been white males. What about that Bundy standoff? I think, yeah, I think a couple of them died, but still. They didn't rain hell down upon them. Seriously, if, if you want to sit up there and argue that race didn't have to do with it, it I'm sorry. It's just, I, I'm sorry for you. You know, I feel like there's something missing in your brain. All right. Anyway, uh, we're just going to go ahead and end this video right here. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comments. Am I being a bit harsh, biased, uh, or or do you really think Kevin cares at this point? Because it's, it, it's official, man. It's like either they're going to fix this or they're not going to fix this. Or things like this are just going to continue to get worse. So anyway, here's the video clip. Uh, see what I'm talking about. Like I said, anything that you see in this whole presentation, if you have any thoughts, just leave it in the comment section. And Kev, we trust. And goodbye. Pointer guns at the crowd. Yeah, no laser pointers either. No laser pointers. They think that's guns too. That's what started most of it. They back by the gas station again. Thanks for attention to us, man.